little big beautiful loving planet called Earth. I so I was last night I was watching the first round of the the playoffs uh, on The Voice, and there were some individuals who should have gotten. Um, and I don't want to say this because that sounds mean and rude, but there were some performers that were better than others last night on The Voice, but I don't think any of them should have gone home. They have to get rid of, they had to get rid of two from each team, whether it was, and last night's performers was uh, Team Legends team and Team uh, Dan Chase team. Now next week, it's, it's, it's Team Chance and Team Reba's teams, and now and then we're going to get to the final 12. So they have each each coach has to pick three three performers or not three performers, three singers to move on to the the live shows which then puts the the votes in or puts it in our hands. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, there are some performers that are going to get eliminated that you really really like. On it's a, on any singing competition. It could be the mass singer. It could be the voice. It could be American Idol. It could be America's Got Talent. All of that stuff. Uh, there's just so much factor variables that go into making a decision on who should go on to the next uh, round and who should go home. I did not agree with some of the decisions that John and and uh, and. Jack, Dan and Shea did last night because obviously you know, you know Mafe deserved to go on, and I know they they can only pick three out of the five that were on their team, but I'm still I'm thinking like, you know, these guys these guys and girls that performed last night all deserve to go on to the next round, but the, like I said, they can only pick three, and. I wish they could be able to save or steal someone in the in the playoffs because that would make things so much better. And and they don't they, they this particular round they're not doing that. And now it's it's with one week left of the playoffs, you know, with Chance and Reba's teams performing and they have to narrow it down to 3. Then it goes to 12 and then in 2 weeks it becomes it becomes so more interesting uh, because it's not up to the judges anymore. It's up to America to decide who's going to win the 25th season of The Voice. Now, two of the two of the individuals who were on who are on my team currently are going to the live shows, um, and that is uh, Zoe Lever, Lever and who else and Karen uh, Upworld. I, I don't know how to spell, how to say her last name. There's one still on the team that has to perform next week, and that's Maddie Jane. Now, I don't know I don't know how I'm going to make a decision on. It, it, it's not my decision to make, but I'm hoping that Maddie Jane goes on to the live shows ne after next week's performance. Now, you know I really didn't. I I thought. I thought Brian's performance was okay, but didn't it really didn't it didn't work for me? And sometimes that happens, where you know you feel like one or two performers didn't do as well as they should have. But you know, I just feel I just felt like Brian should be moving on, and it should have been um, it should have been Mafe, and you know, but that's just me. That's just my personal take on it. Um, he, but Brian got picked by his coach, and, and his coach is John Legend, and Dennis Shea is just I I just don't know what to to think about how how he chose his. I mean I love Zoe, or not love Zoe, but I I thought Zoe is a great performer and she deserved to go on just like I believe Karen should have gone on and she did. Other than that, I was. A little upset on some of the decisions that had to be made, but that's part of the competition uh, in The Voice. You have to eliminate two, and they both eliminated two, so now they're down. We're down four. We went from 20 down to 16, and then next week we'll go from 16 to 12. So, and then from 12, we'll probably go down to 10 or 8, most likely 8, and then, and then. And then we'll probably go to the top five, 
So it'll probably be ten. So two would get eliminated in the first round of the lives, and then we'll figure it out from there. Anyways, that's all I wanted to discuss today. Um, before I do the one birth, or the two birthdays we have today, I do want to say that the plan is to go and see the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare tomorrow at noon. So I don't know how well it's going to go, what's going to happen with that, but that's the plan for tomorrow. And then, and then maybe going to see a movie on Saturday. Well, I'll have, just have to check. And over the next. I want to say uh, to 11, it, 11, almost 12 months from now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to put together like a, um, uh, like a group of friends where we can all agree to maybe potentially go to Coachella Weekend 2 next year because after, well, after Sunday's performance, which was two nights ago, um, the day after, which was yesterday, they announced the dates for next year's event are going to be April, weekend 1 to April 11th through 13th, and then weekend 2 is April 18th through 20th. Now, it may be a while, be, the tickets go on sale May 3rd, which is a week from Friday, and then maybe at some point in the next five or six months or Whatever it is, they'll announce who's had, who's going to be performing at next year's Coachella. And that'll probably make my decision a little bit easier of if I want to go. Because this year it just seemed lackluster. It didn't seem like... Don't get me wrong. Sabrina Carpenter was a good performer. You know, No Doubt, Sublime, Renee Rapp, BB, <clears throat> BB Rex. Other than that, I just wasn't feeling it. And and maybe they'll, maybe they'll get... like. I'm not saying they will get Taylor Swift to be a headliner or Beyonce to be a headliner next year, but maybe they, maybe you guys got to go back to to that. Maybe even get Paramore to return to the festival. I mean, you you guys brought back No Doubt after nine years uh, that from them performing last last on the Coachella stages. So um, maybe you maybe they should bring back. Um, Paramore and Taylor Swift and Beyonce and and other individuals like Steve Aoki, um, Skrillex, maybe bring those guys to the show and you know maybe bring Selena Gomez. So I, I'm going to make a suggestion to them actually. I'm going to go email them and see uh, what they say about that. So with that being said, I want to wish this one's a, a interesting one. So uh, bear with me here. I want to wish Joanna. Nora, Gigi Hadid, a happy birthday, and Kyle Juszczyk, a happy birthday as well. And that does it for birthdays today. That does it for the vlog. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new one. Bye-bye.